Here's uh, John Chica, the general manager of the Arizona Coyotes, uh, along with Darren Millard, Nick Kiprios, and Doug McLean. Uh, what? Um, just can I get you to pick up on what Doug was saying and just uh, your 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 opinion on on Doug's uh, assessment? I just got the very end of it there. Uh, just that you know we got a, a good group on the back end there, and and I certainly agree with that. And uh, you know to date the results aren't there, but uh, and I agree with that as well. So I think it's a fair assessment and. Uh, you know, it's nothing really to argue about. The results are the results, and uh, we got to be better on the back end. So that's where we're at today. So, John, how how have they? You know, with the Goligoski was a was a, a good, solid signing, and Ekman Larson looked like he, he was moving towards a Norris Trophy. Connor was really taking. I mean, is it have they played poorly, or is it more that the forward group is so young that it's affected the back end? Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. I think. Uh, you know, look, it's, it's a combination. It's a defense is a team statistic. And, uh, you know, I think guys like, you know, Goligoski comes in. He's taken some time to get acclimatized. He hasn't played up to his ability. I think Oliver ekman Larson would be the first guy to say that, you know, uh, to date he hasn't been as good as he can be and, and wants to be. And he's certainly a guy that expects to be at a Norris uh, Trophy caliber. So I think there's been a combination of underperformance. And some of the reason for that underperformance could certainly be that, you know, we just don't sustain enough in the offensive zone right now. We spend too much time defending uh, our, our players or young players. They make young turnovers at time, and that comes back, and uh, you're in your own end for too long, and that's where mistakes are made. So uh, I, I think it's a combination of both. Hey, John, we were just speaking about that fine line between keeping young players and, and sending them back for further development. A few years ago, the Leafs... Uh, basically sent the message to their fan base that said, uh, you guys, if you want to go away, go away. We're, we're, it's going to take a while here, but uh, we'll call you when when, we're, when we got something to talk about again. You guys, <laughs> they haven't said that in Phoenix. You guys don't have that luxury. So where is that fine line? And we know that you sent Strom back, but the decision to keep uh, uh, Chikrin, uh, Kraus, I mean, is that part of the, the message that uh, we got to showcase these guys and, and sell? sell the program here yeah no I, I don't i don't think the economics or the business side of things are are impacting our decision making here too much it's uh you know for us it's about trying to build a championship caliber team and uh in order to do that you need a, a group of core players that uh, grow up together learn together uh gain experience together and uh you know together with the Dvorak and uh the anthony d'angelo's and those players uh you know of course you get the ekman larsons the domies duclairs we just feel like this is the spot for our, our good young players to grow together. And, and part of that growth is, uh, you know, some of the downside and making mistakes, learning how to win, which is obviously a very difficult thing to do at this level. But, you know, having said that, I think some of our young players have been some of our best players and, and certainly uh, key parts of our wins as well. So uh, for us, like you said, it's a fine line. Do I, do I pretend like I, I have all the answers of what's best for young players development? You know, the answer is no, but, we feel pretty strongly that uh, with our development staff here and the work that our coaching staff is doing with our young players, we're setting ourselves up for a good long run and, and uh, hopefully a championship. John Chike is with us, Arizona Coyotes general manager with Darren Millard, Nick Kiprios, and Doug McLean. You're, uh, you're big into the analytics. Uh, there's no secret there. So how much yeah. does that help you with these young players and deciding where they fit into your team? Yeah, I, I think you can certainly uh, use some you know past analysis to look at other comparable players and, and players that have performed at uh, certain rates in the past to try and understand, you know, are they truly ready to take that next step of their uh, their development? And, uh, you know, for us, that's just, you know, you're just collecting information, you're doing research. I think a big part of, uh, you know, the decision on a chicken and a crow just comes down to their, their physicality. I think players of that stature, that size, that have had success at that level, you know, typically they are more uh, adept to stepping in and making a contribution at the NHL level. So, um, yeah, I, I think, like I said, you're trying to research and analyze every single op, uh, you know, option that you have and opportunity you have to make your team better. And uh, for us, uh, we think that the best place for these young players to be is, is with our team learning how to win. So explain to me how uh, people tell me that the Florida Panthers didn't like Krause's analytics in Kingston. And yeah. you you are heavy into analytics, and you acquire them. So, are you guys using different analytics, or <laughs> what's what's the story on this? And then people tell me that this kid had trouble scoring in junior, let alone in the NHL. Um, 
and they're not sure, you know, what he's going to be from an offensive point of view. I coached him in the prospects game. I thought he was a heck of a player. I thought he, he looked like he was going to be a, a, a star frontline winger. Where yeah. is he, and why did you? Why is it so different between you two organizations? If that's the case, I think that's at the crux of kind of this analytics argument. Uh, you know, the, the the term I think is just just misused for the most part. It's kind of described as this thing, or uh, you know, it's this concrete type of uh, form of analysis. But it really it, it's just the gathering of information and uh, using your. Uh, best practices to try and understand a player in more depth. So uh, right. when a player, when someone says his player, his analytics are good or is bad or they're bad, I don't, I don't really know what it means to be honest with you. Geez, There's if you don't know, no, then we don't have a clue to know if you don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, like you said, I just, it's used so <laughs> flippantly that I don't know what it means anymore. But uh, for me, uh, Lawson, he's a, he's a six foot four, 215, 220 pound player that, uh, for us, we were looking to kind of augment our skill and speed and, and do so with some size. And he's just a guy that, that added to all, all three of those categories, adding the speed element, but also or sorry, the size element, but also the speed and skill. So uh, he fit in for me. Um, you know, I don't have any issues with his offensive ability. I think he's going to be a 20-goal scorer in the NHL one day. Um, you know, is he going to do it this year? Probably not. But, uh, you know, he's been a very effective player that impacts the game in a lot of different ways. So. Um, that was kind of the, the analysis from my end in terms of making that deal.